Hello friends, welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. We are once again looking in um, to the book of Proverbs. And I'm still not really into camera appearances, um, but that's okay, I'll say hello quickly and then go back out. <laughs> so today we're looking at Proverbs chapter four, verses 10 through 19. And this is the sixth paternal appeal. Uh, the two ways and it's under a father's invitation to wisdom so uh, without any explanations because we'll do that possibly afterwards I will just begin Proverbs chapter 4 verses 10 through 19 in the ESV let's begin hear my son and accept my words that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction, do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of the evil. Avoid it and do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. I'm sure you can figure out what the two ways are there. And uh, so this was, uh, you know, the sixth paternal appeal and it was titled uh, The Two Ways. And he says again, talking about wisdom um, and then says, walk your step and will not be hampered. And do not enter the path of the wicked. So we're talking about the righteous and the wicked or maybe the wise and the fool. It's not worded that way here in this text. But the interesting thing that, that jumped out to me, because um, do you not find yourself saying when somebody does something like, how do you sleep at night, right? Because it's, it's so evil. But listen to this. This is like the contrast of that. If you have given way to wickedness in your heart, and we, we know that this comes from inside of us, um, we we always like to say that oh it's the, you know it's the devil and society has made me evil well society is basically people turning it that direction so bottom line is it comes out from our heart the bible says that repeatedly jesus affirms that so here it's interesting it says for they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong they are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble so if you have given way to wickedness in your heart and become a slave to it and you are not sort of getting rid of those bad personality traits and instead focusing on um, good character, you cannot sleep unless you've done evil. So asking the wicked person, how do you sleep at night? Is like, well, that they sleep at night because that is their goal. They, they have inverted what gives most of us good sleep. I just, I never looked at it that way. And this verse is just popping out at me right now. So that's very interesting, very interesting. And it's interesting too, the, the um, I guess, metaphor here, for they eat the bread of wickedness and they drink the wine of violence. And that, when I look at that, that's an, again, another contrast to, I mean, I'm sure this is not what's intended here, but bread is like the sustenance, right, of life, and wine is the joy of life, okay? And you see that that sort of, um, I guess, metaphor throughout the Old Testament in the, and in the New, and Jesus even focuses on it when you read in the Gospel of John talking about he is the bread of life. And so if, if you're eating the bread of wick, wickedness instead of the bread of life, which is Jesus Christ, you, you're in this position again where you have taken it in you are now digesting it you're not just looking at it from a from afar and um, drinking the wine of violence so it's no longer the wine 
it doesn't bring joy. It, it's like they, they totally inverted the images here that scripture usually uses for bread and wine. So th this is excellent to actually, excellent writing, helps you sort of see um, how with wickedness just goes right to the core. And it means that everything, if you step in that, if you do walk in those ways, um, you can't sleep without doing wrong. But there's hope because the path of righteous uh, of the righteous is the light of John and shines brighter and brighter until the full day. And I underlined that in my Bible because brighter and brighter until the full day, that just makes me think of um, the more you walk with Jesus Christ and take on his righteousness and not one of yourself, you're getting brighter and brighter because he's shining through you. And secondly, um, until full day, that to me just has images of the full day being when um, he returns or when you go to be home with him. And he is the sun and he is the light. And there is no need for, um, for the sun anymore because he's what brings light. I mean, he is what brings light, but anyway. Those are just the things that popped out to me as I read this today. So uh, may you also choose the way of um, uprightness and wisdom and uh, be able to sleep well because of that. that that's all I can say. <laughs> I may have to do this again. I feel like that was, I was stumbling all over myself. Anyway, this was Proverbs chapter four, verses 10 through 19. And in the sixth paternal appeal, the two ways under a father's invitation to wisdom. May you be blessed. Have a, a great Wednesday. Bye.